with the document written up, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the kind of the comparison between the two and kind of get a general idea of what is it, you know, more of a grounding, what is it we're actually going to build, where we're going to develop. Starting with the, the concept side, just the rough breakdown of our design, this is really a great thing to do, uh, not just watch a video on it, but be sure that you actually do this. Take some pictures, break them apart, identify elements that you feel are important to the game, to how the game's played, and it's really going to help you grow on the design side, answering those questions. Uh, even if it's looking at another game being made, you still have to kind of uh, break it down and understand it. What we did from here, though, I just took all of kind of our general words and things that we were using and placed them into a document. The, the document is just kind of all the things that are in bold. These are just simply bullet pointing what is it the, the component or the class that I think that we're probably going to wind up making for each of the elements. So we'll take just kind of a larger stance at it. As it we'll say that the manager is going to be here. And generally, it's going to be used to control the GUI, to control level loading, to control whether the players won or lost, uh, the scoring. Um, and then going into animation controller, this is going to be the part where we'll control the animation of the player or any other uh, items or elements within the game. Uh, the camera follow, if you notice, we have options for the follow the player horizontally, but let the uh, forward speed move at a X number speed, whatever type we want to choose for it. Um, we also have a camera shake that we'll place inside. It's just a pre-made script that will be part of our plugin, which is down here called Lean Tween. And we'll look at how to use a, how to actually use a plugin. It's a free plugin, so it'll be a, a good one we can take some good advantage of. Uh, and then we also have coin. We have some options for coin, level generator, mover, player controller. Uh, player controller, you'll probably notice a little bit larger in terms of comparison for bullet points. Um, one of the main key elements to it is that your move is not only going to be moving, it'll, it'll be moving based on input of it, but also you're going to have a check for collision. And actually one other one is that the forward movement will generate a, uh, uh, the distance points. So whenever you're moving forward, you'll also get a scoring system based on that. And then we'll do a uh, then the rotation based on whichever direction you're going to be going and whether you get hit by any objects inside or if the camera goes too far and you're off screen, um, along with the players also checking for did they pick up a coin or anything like that. And then you also have the spawn controller and spawners, and those are going to be controlling objects and items and placement. So based on what we looked at from before, sketching it out, and then kind of just that a little bit more of a cleaner breakdown here. This is one that you could actually kind of look at. You could start projecting what is it I'm actually trying to create? What am I trying to develop? I would definitely, not for these videos, but for, for your own practice, I would definitely encourage you to go from this document and try to break it down a little bit further. Go ahead and start defining words, start defining elements. Be sure that you can really picture it in your head as to what is it that's actually going to happen before you start the project. That way, when you start in on the project, you're, you're at least a little bit better prepared for anything that might come up. All right, so that's going to be it for the pre-planning phase. And then we'll go ahead and uh, next one we'll get into is setting up Unity, getting our project ready, and get it going.